to have so many of these roles in such great movies, iconic movies, you know, if, if I'm ask, it, Days and Confused, mm. Good Will Hunting, yeah. what, would, what would come up first if somebody said, aren't you the guy, and, or they would ask you about that movie in general? It kind of depends where you are in the country, actually. But, I mean, if I'm in Boston, it's, it's Good Will Hunting. If I'm, uh, you know, in New York, it's probably higher learning. Um, Days and Confused, definitely in Austin. <laughs> what was that like? Um, I mean, how old were you doing Days and Confused? I was actually 17. Yeah, I was the proper age, you know, and, and a lot of the guys were. You know, it was 17 to 19 years old, most of the actors. But McConaughey was the He was the, the older. The star. Yeah, he was 21. He was, <laughs> he was the one buying beer. <laughs> Who did you think would be a star from that cast? You know, I never, it never occurred to me. I mean, when you do those movies, especially as a kid, like when I did School Ties, you know, I did it with Matt and Ben and Brendan Fraser and Chris O'Donnell and all these guys. But we weren't thinking in those terms. We were just trying to make the greatest film we could, you know. When did you know Dazed and Confused had sort of this cult-like following? It's funny, yes, because when it came out, Gramercy released it, and it came and went. I mean, it was a weekend, literally. So it made no money in the theaters. But when I realized it was a real success, was I was walking through Blockbuster back in the day, and it, it was attached to Fast Times at Richmond High. And I was like, oh, my God, Dazed and Confused and Fast Times together in a box cassette? That's when I was like, this is uh, obviously doing very well as far as a cold classic, you know.